Hello friends. In today's lesson, I will discuss the methods of how to build your own automated strategy. So, it is a very important topic. Please turn off all distractions and pay close attention to the subject matter. Also, this will be the last theoretical lesson. In the upcoming lessons, I will show you everything directly inside Strategy Quant X software package. I will explain four basic approaches to strategy building. In addition, I will speak about workflow. It is closely related to the strategy building process. Let's start at the beginning and take a look at four basic methods of strategy building. Then I will analyze them more in detail. The first method is that you program your strategy by yourself. You completely code all rules using a computer language like Python. The next method is to hire a programmer to do it for you. Third is to use a software package to build, test, optimize one strategy, one task at a time, which as you can imagine, it's very time consuming and prone to errors since you need to exchange data between different software packages, not to mention the learning curve for each software package. And the last one is to use a special software package that does everything automatically, which is building, testing, all your strategies, all your ideas, following your guidelines. So let's discuss the first method where you program a strategy by yourself. First of all, you need to be a proficient in a computer language, preferably Python or R. Then you need to build your own simulation platform or use one from a vendor. Also, you can use a proprietary platform and learn its proprietary language and use its simulation platform. Once you have an idea, you write it down into a logic that the computer can understand. Then you need to check the code for bugs and make sure that the program is working as it should be. Once the code is done, you need to test it on data sample and do a backtest to find the validity of the idea on historical data. If you are satisfied with the performance, then you move to optimizing and robustness testing on bigger data sample. When the strategy passes all tests, then you can move it to a demo account to monitor its behavior in real-time market data. The biggest challenge, obviously, the programming part. It's a method for programmers, and what's more important, it's not that easy to do a precise backtest. Quite often, those backtests can take really a long time. Each test is a single task that has to be monitored and acted upon. To sum up, this method is for programmers only, and apart from coding skills, it also requires a lot of time to babysit every task along the way. To build hundreds of strategies, it takes months to automate the building process, and even then it is not optimum, as you have to go back and forth between different software packages. If you are not a skilled programmer, then discard this option. The next option is to hire a programmer to code your strategy. In this case, you give your idea to a programmer with instruction but you must pay a good programmer to code it for you. However, performing high quality backtests is still a big challenge and you can't be sure that the programmer is following all instructions, including robustness testing to generate the final strategy. Also, not all ideas are profitable, yet you still have to pay the programmer for their time. So it could get very expensive very quickly. The advantage is that you don't need to be a programmer. I used to do this all the time. The disadvantage is you always need to update your strategy logic or introduce new ideas. And in that case, it is very time demanding and also very expensive to keep paying the programmer to test your ideas. For that reason, I would not recommend this method also. The third method is you build your strategies yourself by using several software packages. Uh, these software packages are ready-made and doesn't need programming skills. Usually these software packages are very limited and you still struggle with the quality of the backtest. Robustness testing usually doesn't exist or very limited in its scope. Therefore, the probability of strategy staying profitable in the future is very limited. You still need to babysit every task one at a time to monitor its progress and move it to the next task. And usually it's prone to errors because you need to move data back and forth between the packages. You don't need to be a programmer or pay a programmer to use this method. The problem is that the quality of the strategies coming out of the pipe is very low. So I would not recommend this method also. 
With the last option, you can basically forget all previously mentioned methods. You do not need to search for idea, you don't need any programming skills or assembling blocks as with builders. Even you don't need to perform any backtest. All options are automated for building strategies. In this method, the most work is about testing quality and robustness of trading strategies. It might look like a holy grail approach where you don't need to do a lot, but it is rather a completely different approach of automated strategy building. I will describe it now. You will need a computer with Windows operating system and a special software package designed to do this type of building. Either start with your own strategy or create different versions of it or pick a market to test. Set signals and trade time frame, define parameters, values, and ranges. You can select 10, 50, or 100. The computer will do all the work for you. It doesn't mean that it will use all of them. It will only use the number of combinations you allow it to do. I will explain this later in detail. Once you press start, the software will start building strategies following your guideline. When you have enough strategies in your data bank, then you run them through very hard robustness tests to make sure that they are of high quality. Only the strategies that pass all tests will be fit to be included in a portfolio. When all done, you export the strategy code to be traded on a demo or live account. This is basically the process of automated building. It is also called genetic algorithm building. This method uses totally different approach than previous methods because here you use the power of your computer which searches for trading ideas instead of you. I will discuss this method in more detail later. It took me tens of thousands of dollars and thousands of hours to reach the stage by the time I decided to go from discretionary trading to fully automated. I am very happy with the current setup as it leaves me a lot of time to do other important things in my life than to babysit or code. Plus, I get a lot more robust strategies in my data bank to combine them in a portfolio for trading. Let's briefly discuss the last point. What is strategy development workflow? The workflow is a set of tasks that the software do sequentially based on your instructions. This feature alone saves hundreds of hours of strategy building. Believe me, I have tested many other packages without this feature or with limited set of this feature. And in strategy quant X, it is one of the best available. I will try to explain it using tangible example. Imagine you want to build your own dream home. First, you have to pick the land, then you need to pick the designer, then you pick the materials that matches your budget, then you hire a construction company and an engineering consultant to supervise the construction company and make sure they follow the plan. So on and on until the house gets built up and delivered on time with the right specification. Strategy building workflow is similar. At first, we will choose the market and tools. Then we will define realistic expectations. Just like we can't put 50 rooms in a 100 square meter house. Similarly, we can't expect stable profits of 300% per year from a strategy long term with no risk. Strategies like this don't exist. Another step in the strategy building workflow is robustness testing. If strategy passes, then the next step is trading with virtual money. If strategy behaves as expected, then we will trade it with real money. Finally, we keep monitoring and evaluating the strategy performance. In the next lesson, I will discuss time-proven workflow of building strategies. And based on this knowledge, I will show you how to build your first strategy step by step. So you will see everything in practice. We will start with our practical part in tomorrow's lesson. So make sure not to miss it. It's going to be very exciting. And remember to contact us for any questions on support at strategyquant.com. Have a great day.